but I'm an advocate of the fair tax. I don't believe the fair tax is a tax bill. I believe it's a jobs bill. And uh, I told my colleagues they sell it wrong. Uh, the fair tax could get our economy going again as well. But basically now, when, when an American product makes its way to the cash register at the point of sale, 22% of the cost of that product is embedded in taxes. A Chinese product comes to the cash register with Chinese taxes, or no taxes, or subsidies, whatever the Chinese choose to do. So we're at a competitive disadvantage with American-made product. The fair tax takes all the taxes out of production and moves it to consumption. So now, on average, it's 22% cheaper to make a product here in the United States. And both products hit the cash register at 23%. So you've leveled the playing field up between imports and domestic products. But at least as importantly, now you can export to the world tax-free. So not only do American-made products become more competitive in America, American-made products are more competitive around the world. So that's why I say it's a jobs bill. Everybody talks about the outsourcing of American jobs. Nobody's doing anything about it. And all you ever hear from the left is, let's put tariffs on imports. Well, that just punishes the American consumer. We don't need to add taxes. We just need to change the way we collect taxes. And so we level the playing field up between domestic and imported products. Now, for us tax policy, it's great on tax policy too. We spend today $300 billion between the taxpayer and the tax collector paying and collecting income tax. We've got 115,000 people working at the IRS. It wouldn't take over 5,000 at Treasury because the state would collect the federal sales tax with the state sales tax and they would remit to the federal government. So the individual would have no relationship with the federal government anymore. That would save us about 300 billion a year. There's about a trillion, 200 billion people don't pay taxes on today. It's an underground economy. Some of it's drug dealers, absolutely illegal things. Uh, some of it's somebody that's, that's charging cash and paying cash. Some of it's uh, otherwise honest plumber that plumbs 40 hours a week for somebody and then works on the weekend for cash. You know, I mean, whatever. It's, but it's an underground economy. That's about another 280 billion additional income without raising taxes. Just revenue neutral. 